Good morning. It's Miss Panda and Miss Nita with the Time Peach Garden. We got a bag full of parts. And uh, we're going to get back to work. It's just how that one goes. And see if we can uh, do what we got to do. Chickens are coming to check it out. Pythos will be again talking about, you know, work job site safety. <coughs> and uh, yeah. All right, let me get busy. And I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Supervisor approved. I've been cutting tin. Cutting tin. Cutting tin. All the tin pieces that are here, cutting tin, are all the roof pieces for, for this building. Um, <clears throat> so if you kind of zoom in, you can see where that's a, uh, you know, ruffles have ridges. You know, in and out, in and out, in and out. Um, and this one is, uh, you know, a little out, then a big out, and then a little out, and then a big out type thing. Um, yeah, it's two different kinds of tin. Again, this is all reclaimed tin. I didn't pay money for any of this. Um, so that side of the roof is all of this ruffles have ridges. And this side of the roof is all this one here. It's just how it is. Um, kind of the same thing when I get to the other one. I will have these ruffles have ridges, which are not the same as the other ruffles have ridges. And then I've got one piece of the, the higher bumps that I'll end up having to use. But these are all white. And these are all silver. So even though it's all hodgepodge, it'll come out looking kind of cool. Now, having said that, I want to, I'm want i going to go get two more pieces of wood. Um, I want to reinforce. I want to put a piece attached to that one outside and then down to the floor at an angle. Kind of like fanning out at an angle. Again, I'll show it to you once I get it in there. Um, just looking for a little extra support. Might be overkill, might not be. We'll see. Talk to you in a few. All right, the two boards are in that I meant, you know, when I was talking about the fan boards. Um, again, just to give it more support on the back side. Because on the, the front side, I got the T-posts. I like having the extra wood there. Just... I like that. I'm in an area that's prone to snow and ice. Not a lot, but when it happens, it happens hard. So a little extra support's a good thing. Having said that, the first two pieces of tin are up and in place. And bolted down. Yes. Awesomeness. Um, I can still see a little light crack. I don't have the, the fashing across the top yet to make sure that I don't have water coming in that crack yet. Um, mostly because it's lunchtime. It's 11.30. Um, I decided as I put the boards up, I'd go ahead and put my sealant for the old holes in. Where'd it go? There it is. Um, you can see it's looking a little bubbly. A little white bubbly. No, it will dry clear, and that's how I know it's dry. And can look and or check for holes. But uh, I figured I'd go ahead and do lunch first. <coughs> give the, you know, give the, the holes on this piece a, a, an, an opportunity to dry. And then I'll come back and I will actually start attaching the, uh, the upper piece of fashing to that end. Um, and I do that because that way as I put the, the pieces on and work my way forward, um, the ground height here at this end is really close to the overall height of the deck. So when I do the final piece, I can reach where on this side, there's almost a foot difference between where the dirt is and where the floor starts. Um, makes, it'll make it really hard to reach that end. So, it's all right, that's the plan. I'll make it work one way or another. And um, having said that, I will talk to y'all after lunch. Um, yeah, I'm getting hangry. Talk to you later. And the roof is on. Supervisor said we should go in the house and call it a day. I happen to agree with her. Um, isn't that awesome? The roof is on. The roof, the roof. The roof is not on fire. <laughs> I'm not trying to sing. Um, so, little things. I am out of, say, tin to wood screws. Um, that's what these are. And then they've got a little rubber thingy on it so water doesn't leak down to the screw head and, and rust or get into stuff. Blah, blah, blah. I ran out. Um, I have them across the top. I'm not going to zoom in, and I got one there across the edge. Again, I'm not going to zoom in. Um, that side is missing, and then I stuck two deck screws here 
just to make sure it stays down until I get to the store to buy some more. Um, yeah, they're like 15 cents a piece. It's not an issue, but I'm, I'm not planning on going into town until like Monday after gym. You know, so it's got to go a couple of days with some dextrous. It will survive. Um, and then from the inside, this is all that one side, one kind of tin. Um, you can still see I've still got some, some holes to fill where you can look at, I know I have some, there's one. You can see how that looks kind of a, uh, it's not bright and shiny. It's cause the, the caulk stuff is there to seal it. Um, same thing on this side, you can see where that hole has been filled and that hole has been filled and those two holes are still wide open. You can see the grass and the trees through the hole. <laughs> so I've still got some holes to fill and I'm gonna go ahead and fill those. And having said that, this is the, the Ruffles averages up until there. And then I ran out of that tin. I had to put a different piece of tin in, you know, so I wouldn't have a hole here. But life is awesome, you know? It's covered. And it's the farthest side in the corner, back where the shrubs are. So unless you're hiking back there for some reason, picking mulberries, you'll never even notice it. It's awesome though. My opinion. You know, I'm partial to my own work. I think I did a good job. Um, other thought processes. I will probably put a bar there across the bottom. Not a bar, but a piece of wood. Um, and then maybe one about where the arch is there across. Um, mostly, so, again, I don't, I'm, I'm out of wood. Um, as the world has changed over the past, past five years, you know, think about it for a second. It has gotten harder and harder to get, um, reclaimed wood or reclaimed tin. Um, so it's really possible that this year I will end up stapling greenhouse plastic or um, the dollar store dollar 25 now but it's clear clear shower curtains um, that'll keep the rain off of it until I get enough wood to actually seal in the walls you know and still keep everything dry um, I will also say that today once I'm done filling holes um, I need to go get some cotton balls and a piece of fabric on a and a, and a safety pin Hook the safety pin here through the through the plumber's tape um, so it smells minty fresh and that way I don't have wasps because I've already had two of them come check it out going, hey, we should build a nest. We shouldn't. <coughs> yes, I still have a cough. You know, it just doesn't want to leave me alone. But overall, that's awesome. Now at the sides, yeah, I have to duck. But here in the middle, I stand up straight. Life is awesome. All right. I had some boards out here I was using to make sure that when I was working on this side, I could keep the ladder level. So I need to go ahead and just throw those in there, because I'm assuming when I get to the other side, I will need them over there as well. But we're done. Besides filling holes, we're done for today. So let me get on and fill some holes. Check eggs. And Miss Pan and I will talk to you later. <laughs>